Okay. Uh, back to talking about the movie Young Guns 2. Okay. So Pat Garrett and Dave Rudaba, they're, they're helping Billy the Kid. And they're sh shooting uh, the bad guys. The bad guys. They were trying to kill uh, Billy. Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, Pat Garrett, uh, one of the things that he likes to do is shoot horses, apparently, in the movie. So he shoots one of the, uh, the guys that are trying to uh, shoot them, Billy. And Billy, he shoots his horse, one of, uh, his horse, and he falls down, this guy. And he's pinned by the horse. His leg is like underneath the horse. He can't move. Okay, so then um, this guy who's pinned down uh, by the horse that Pat Garrett shot and killed. Uh, Pat Garrett, he goes, oh, he goes uh, up to him and he's about to shoot this guy. To kill him. And he says, wait, do I know you? So this is kind of kind of a funny exchange here. Still pretty dark, because people are getting killed. But he's saying, Do I know you? I guess the just the situation of it is, is kind of humorous. Sort of. Somebody's gonna get killed, but um and then the man that's pinned under the horse says, Yeah. Yeah, you know me. You do. Because he's thinking, oh, I'm not going to get shot because he knows me. And then Pat Garrett asks what what his name is. And he says, Travers from Tularosa. And then Pat Garrett says, Travers. So he's thinking, he's thinking, do I know this guy? Or at least he's pretending to think that. And he says, no. And then he shoots him. So, there's that. Um, okay, and then Billy's looking at one of the, the dead men's hats, and he's admiring it. <clears throat> And then Pat Garrett notices one of the men uh, that were shooting at them. He gets up and he aims to shoot at Billy. So then pa uh, Pat saves Billy by killing this man who was going to kill Billy. So he saved Billy's life, potentially. But Billy still gets wounded. Okay. So then Billy, Pat, and Dave approach one of the men they had killed. He's laying down in the dirt. And then Billy asks if they should give him a proper burial. So here's some more dark humor. Uh, they say, why not? And then they kick some dirt on him, and they all laugh. So... There's Billy and his new gang. Okay, so then we go to Doc, who had become a teacher in New York. But he was found and arrested. And then, then we go back to, we go to um, Old Fort Sumner, New Mexico, in New Mexico Territory, 1879. So Old Fort Sumner, that's going to show up later at the end of the movie. All right, Billy meets up with his friend Beaver. It was played by an actor, I think, I think that's the same guy that was in the movie Batman, the Tim Burton movie, the first one. Um, I think he played uh, the, um, 
one of the the main henchmen of the Joker. I think it was that actor. Yeah. There's another good movie. Okay. Okay, Tom O'Folliard meets Dave and he's asking if he's Billy the Kid. And then Dave says, no, but I am Arkansas Dave Rudabaugh. And so Tom has never heard of him. So Dave's, Dave's a little disappointed that he's... He feels like he's famous and he should be recognized. Like Billy is. Uh, then Dave brags about killing 65 men, not counting Mexicans and Indians. Alright, then Tom meets Billy, saying he wants to ride the trail with him. He kind of stutters a little bit when he's when he because uh, he's nervous because he's, he's meeting his hero and he when he calls uh, when he calls Billy the Prince of Pistoliers but it sounds like he's he's saying he calls uh, Billy the Prince of Piss because he doesn't get Pistoliers out all at one time so that's kind of funny because <laughs> at first Billy's like what. It looks like he's he's offended at being referred to as the Prince of Piss, understandably so. Okay, so then Billy shows Tom his leg wound from when he was shot earlier and asks if Tom wants, if he wants that, or a shot in the skull. And then he, so then he goes on to say, hiding out in the dan in in the damn brush, like some kind of lizard. Everybody in the territory trying to take a shot at you. Boom, boom, boom. So he's like, when he says boom, 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 he's gesturing with a with his hand like a like guns. And then he says, "Is that what you want, Mister Pennsylvania? Huh?" And then Tom says, kind of weakly, yes. And then Billy tells Beaver to get him out of here. Get him out of here. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and then uh, Doc gets thrown into a pit in Lincoln, where he meets Chavez. All right, and then uh, then Pat Garrett tells Billy that the governor wants to meet with him to testify against the Murphy men about the events that ha that happened in the the first Young Guns movie. Okay, so then Billy goes to see Governor Lou Wallace. The governor promises to give Billy a full pardon, but he has to leave New Mexico. He tells Billy they will arrest him. But it will be a staged arrest for Billy's protection before the trial. So Billy agrees to that. Uh, and then the governor and his guests give Billy some money. Uh, they applaud as Billy shoots the flames off the candles in the room. Uh, Billy's put in handcuffs. Uh, then he meets with the district attorney. The DA tells Billy that who testifies in court is up to him. Who happens to think not a bloody chance in the pit of Hades, will Billy be testifying against the Murphy men? 
So he wants to ha he wants to hang Billy. So then Billy um he sees the governor outside the window leaving Lincoln. And then he acknowledges that the governor this is this is a part with the uh, brushy Bill uh, Roberts is doing a little bit of narration at this point in the movie. So he acknowledges um, that the governor didn't have the power to pardon Billy because of the Irish politicians who were still running Lincoln County. So the DA leaves saying, good day, Mr. Bonnie. And then Billy tells him, good day, Mr. Dung Pile. Then the DA laughs and leaves. Uh, Billy gets out of the handcuffs, though. Because he has uh, small hands and big wrists. He says that was a, Brushy Bill Roberts is doing the narration at that point, saying it was a historical fact. Okay, and then we have um, I think his name was Bob Ollinger. Uh, he asks the, the prisoners in the pit in Lincoln if they're hungry. He says, I got two lots of news for you, good and bad. I'll give you the bad news first. All we got for supper is horseshit. Then he laughs. One of the prisoners asks, What the hell's the good news? And then Doc says, There's tons of it. So then Bob, Bob Ollinger, he says, The world hates a smart mouth, Skurlock. So it's kind of funny that he would say that because uh, they're both being smart mouths, aren't they? Smart mouth, smart Alec, smart ass. Because because Bob Ollinger was the one that was implying that they're he was the one making a joke, saying that they're going to have to eat horse shit. So he's being a smart mouth, too. All right, uh, so then uh, we go to uh, Billy, who already got out of the, the, the handcuffs. He's on top of the roof above uh, that, that oh, that's overlooking uh, the, the pit and Bob Ollinger. Uh, so Billy spits. He spits. Pretty good aim. He spits onto Bob Ollinger's hat, and then he laughs. Quietly. Uh, then Bob Ollinger says, uh, Let me know if you boys want some dessert. And he laughs and then takes a shovel of the horse manure and throws it down on the prisoners in the pit. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna stop there. It's already almost twelve thirty PM. Time for breakfast. Okay. There's a lot left.